I'm so greasy like a damn butterball turkey. Like, serve me up on a plate. today's vlog but before we get started with that y'all know i have a sponsorship because these sponsorships is what keeps this channel going okay so we are checking out unice hair today unice hair is no strangers to my channel i work with them all the time i am actually doing a straight out of the bag or straight out of the box review for you guys y'all know i have not done a review like this in a really long time i always bleach the knots so i always you know kind of prep the edges and the knots for you guys before but i'm gonna just do this one straight out the bag straight out the bag you guys we gonna see we, we taking it back old school look at that silky look at that all the details of course will be down below in the description box as usual i will have a coupon code down below as well so, oh, this is actually a tea part wig. Okay. Did I know this was a tea part? Maybe not. So a tea part wig is going to be out the box anyway. So scratch what I just said. Tea part wig is straight out the box because there is no lace for you to bleach. You literally have a part in the middle and then you have edges to where you can do your baby hair. That is literally all you get. So let's put her on i'm gonna cut the lace off of course i'm gonna make some baby hairs but let's put her on and see what she's hitting for left it straight i did cut look at that i cut like two and a half inches off the bottom i don't like that just straggly look so i always cut the bottom of my hair especially my straight hair curly hair i might not cut it that much but straight hair i always do in it flat iron very easy i literally flat iron my hair in like three four minutes like legit just took some big pieces uh on my flat iron at 400 degrees and i just went at it like I said, this is a straight out the box wig. So I did very minimal plucking. Because it's a tea part, there is really no lace to bleach. You can get crafty and try to bleach a little bit of the tea if you want to, but I didn't see the point. So I just did this and then I put a little bit of concealer in my part. I just knew one of these baby hairs had to act up. Y'all know they always gotta act up. They can't cooperate the first time. I'm just using what's left on my brush from when I did my part. Cause when you use powder, it's gonna get all in your baby hairs, all over your edges. And then if you put more glue on top of it, you leave it for a few days, it just starts looking chalky and nasty. So yeah. To say it's just straight out the box and I did not bleach the knots and all I did was flat iron the hair, cut two inches off the bottom and made some baby hairs. I think this looks pretty good. This is one of those really easy wigs. Of course you can put more powder on, but I feel like this camouflage pretty good. Like who needs to, who gonna be all up in my face like that? Don't nobody need to be all up in my face. Let me show you guys the length on me. I am 5'9", so I'm a tall chick. So this is where it comes on me. Booty length, waist length. <laughs> and that's after, like I said, that's after me cutting two inches off. It still has a very nice length to it. Oh, this color is 
pretty. Look at that. Excuse my messy bathroom, but it looks really good. T part, straight out the package. No need to bleach your knots. No need to pluck. No need to do anything. All you gotta do is flat on the hair. Make you some baby hairs. And then just put a little bit of concealer on your part and you're ready to go. Like, super easy hair. You guys check out Unice Hair. All the links, the description of this unit, coupon code, everything will be down below. And yeah, I love this little subtle highlight. Like this is perfect for like summertime. Anyway, thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Now guys, on to the vlog. What's up guys welcome to a new vlog if you are new here my name is gina janine i like to think of myself as your thick best friend um it's mother's day today happy mother's day to all the mothers out there all the grandmothers anybody who's raising kids who are not theirs happy mother's day because you are still mother even if you do not have your own biological kids so um yeah, stepmoms, um, foster moms, adopted moms, y'all get <laughs> the same praise as having your own biological child because you are showing love, you're raising a whole human, and you know, you deserve your acknowledgement. All right, so I'm getting dressed. Well, I just got dressed, but um, I'm putting on my shoes. You change your clothes? No. You change your shirt? No. no? Oh, okay. You got all your stuff together? Uh, yeah. All right, get your phone. Y'all can go wait out in the living room. But um, <clears throat> I'm putting on my shoes. We're about to go to my aunt's house. She's doing like a Mother's Day brunch. I'm just dressed real simple. I'm not dressed up. Uh, I got on black leggings. I have on this Forever 21 t-shirt. It just says, not, not photoshopped. <laughs> with my um, Balenci sock sneakers and a Nike hat because I ain't feel like doing nothing to this hair. So I wish I would just get dressed up, dressed up. <laughs> I'm going to eat, have me a couple of mimosas and just chill. I want to be comfortable. Mm, let's see. My phone been going off all morning. <sighs> Mom. What's up? So what's a drink that you would prefer getting at Starbucks? Anna. This is our, our Mother's Day um shindig that's going on. And when I tell y'all it smell good, I wish I had some, some smell of vision on here so y'all could smell. And they working hard. This one's not working. And this one's not working. But these two... These two working hard, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, Chloe's fast, though. Aw. Oh, Chloe, like that. <laughs> Look at her. How old is she? She looks, she looks like she's in hog heaven. <laughs> Dog heaven? You want to be on camera, j -Mo? No. Okay, I think so. <laughs> hog heaven is when you just... Hog? Hog heaven. It's, it's just the same. Got my mimosa. It's not a champagne mimosa, but it's a wine mimosa. Yeah, y'all come on, cause she's trying to work. Yeah, and if she goes back in the kitchen, y'all just stay out, cause she's she's trying to get her work done. This is with Stella the Honey, Honey Peach. I think that's the one. Like what it's called. That's the one that I told y'all I like so much. The plain peach is basic, but that honey peach is good with some orange juice. Like, don't come in unless you come over here. If you don't like it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, y'all can start grabbing y'all plates. Because I was going to give Mama a tub, but she said it was going to spike. You know? Yeah. So, uh, the sugar in the grits uh -huh. is a no, mess. Those, those were seasoned. Okay. So the ones later might not be seasoned. Hey, y'all. Just got home from my aunt's house. Excuse the way this wig is looking. That's why I've been wearing a baseball cap with it. This is the same wig, can you believe it or not, from my last video that I crimped. I know y'all thought it was cute because that wig, once I slayed it, it was so bomb. But 
literally i slept with this wig on for two days straight with no bonnet i sweated in this damn wig <laughs> anyway i'm gonna revive it if i go anywhere this week or whatever but anyway i'm home i had to get up and go because i'm like i got that itis she put down so much food i had so many mimosas then we law lay down and we watched a movie called the trespasser trespassing the intruder it was with Gra gabrielle union her dad um died left her that estate she had to go sell it the men were in the house waiting because they wanted the four million dollars out the safe that movie i don't remember what it's called but we watched that oh excuse me y'all i'm watching eight at the table eight at the table they're kind of new they only have seventeen thousand subscribers but their topics are so good y'all they usually have about like uh three men four women on the panel and they talk about kind of like not battle of the sexes but just like this one is why do men get friend zoned and you know some of the men are like I don't have women as friends. Like, I don't, for what? What am I have a woman as, as a friend for? And then the women are like, yeah, we have guy friends. And the guys are like, they'll fuck you. Like, they will, you crack that door a little bit, we sliding right up in there. So that's what um, that topic is about. But if y'all um, like discussion pieces on YouTube, eight at the table is really good. And like I said, it comes, you know, it's a black group panel group of people in like their 20s 30s there might be like one 40 year old but anyway i just discovered them probably about like three four weeks ago my sister put me on but y'all speaking of why men get friend zone am i why does it look like i'm fuzzy am i fuzzy hey freckles now pull back okay maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm crazy i don't know but i'm so greasy like a damn butterball turkey like serve me up on a plate um anyway tell me why teddy is mad at me again y'all please tell me why teddy is mad at me so on what's today sunday so on friday night yes friday night I was in bed. I wasn't going to go out. But around midnight, I was like, let me just see what Teddy's doing. I text him. I asked him where he's at. He was like, I'm at Swagger. That's the club I had met him at like two days prior. I think y'all would have seen it at the end of my last vlog. Anyway, we I was went back to that spot. That's where he was at. It was a Friday night. Now, um, he was with four of his friends. A guy who was with a chick and him who was with a chick. So I was the third wheel, even though I was the fit, really the fifth wheel, but I was the third wheel because they were there like on dates. So I got there around like 1230, almost one o'clock. And then one of my guy friends was like, hey, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm at Swagger, you know, little old head spot, like cool, you know, cheap drinks, good music, you know, come through. He was like, okay, I'm with my cousin. So I'm like, yeah, come through. Like, you know, me and him, we just cool. We're not even, it wasn't even that type of level, you know. But, so I invited him up there. And Teddy is like, where you going? I said, my friend just arrived. I'm about to go meet him at the door. Yo, friend. Yo, friend. Man, man, don't play with me. Don't play with me. And I'm like, what the, f the fuck? Anyway, and I started laughing. Walked off, got my drink. Walked off with my drink. And I met my friend at the door. So then, of course, he's just walking in with his cousin. We go to the bar. We get drinks. I, you know, go walk back over to Teddy, and I'm just like, hey, you want, I'm, you know, at the bar, you want some? He was like, yeah, give me this. I, I paid for Teddy a drink with my own money, you know, um, gave it to him, and he's like, why are you still over there with them? I'm like, I, y'all are, like, on a double date. Like, that's what it seemed like. Like, why I'm, anyway, to make a long story short, I wound up, my guy friend who came, I wound up pretty much staying over by him until the club closed, which was only like, like I said, I got there about 12.30, 12.45. He walked in the spot at about 1.15 maybe. Clubs in Houston close at 2 a.m. So I was only around him for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Anyway, so Teddy 
is now extremely mad at me because I had a guy friend up there. I just, I don't know, y'all. Like, y'all done gassed him up so much over here on YouTube and he be reading all these comments. Y'all done gassed him up that, Jimmy, you need to be with him. Jimmy, you need to be with him. Oh, y'all y'all are going to get married. Oh, like, I'm like, can I have my friend? Like, I want my... It was never this type of pressure, like, ever. Yeah, he would, like, flirt with me, say little cute things, like, you know, but we always kept it, like, as a, as a friend level. Like I said, I've, I was just in a whole five-year relationship, engaged, you know, and me and him stayed friends. I mean, we, of course, didn't talk as much, just out of respect, you know, out of respect. Why is my hand so much darker than my face? What the... That's so weird. Anyway, let me not get off subject, off topic, whatever. Um, you know, he's just, he stayed my friend through all of my relationships, through all of his relationships. I just don't understand why. It, it, it It's literally making me realize, no, men and women cannot be friends. Unless it's somebody who you, like, legit grew up with, who, I don't know. I Even then, I don't know. I don't know. Because I had a guy friend like years ago. This was over like before Ethan and Ashton were, were even born. Um, I had a guy friend. We we literally hung out all the time for years. Like he was my, we talked on the phone every single day. He knew about guys I was dating. I knew about the women he was messing with. And, and then just one day he professed his love to me. After all them years, he literally professed his love. And I'm like, what? Like, come on now. We can't mess up our friendship. His homeboys would be like, man, Nikki, you stupid. Like, you always with her. Like, y'all at the club. Every I mean, when I tell you we was together all the time. We were literally together like four or five nights out the week. If y'all know anything from like the club scene back then, like 10, 12 years ago, and you from Houston and you know me, then y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, and then after that, we just slowly, like, drifted apart within, like, maybe about, about six months after that, we slowly drifted apart. I mean, it was nights where, I, this was back in the day when I was, like, drinking, drinking, and would just, like, not control my liquor. He would literally drive me home, put me in bed, sometimes sleep in the bed with me to make sure I'm good, like, and never tried anything. Like, we were literally friends, like, hmm. I don't know. And I tried to hit him up recently. Recently as in like about a year or two ago. And he never responded back. I DM'd him on Facebook. I sent him a text message hoping that that's the same phone number. It's probably not. But um, yeah, it just sucks. I know Teddy's going to get over it. I know we're going to be back cool again in a couple days. But um, he literally was like, I'm not fucking with you no more. I'm not fucking with you no more. And I called him and he answered the phone he's like da, 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 like going off on me hung with my face and I tried to call him back he wouldn't pick up like I don't know it's so annoying it's like it hurts my feelings too because it's just like why can't we just be friends like why we have such a connection like why can't we be friends so hey y'all <laughs> let me stop being extra but anyway it's monday y'all it's the 10th um i don't even know why i be telling y'all like the time and day it is because i'm gonna have it on the screen anyway so but um yeah i have not eaten anything today so i'm headed to get my first meal i'm going to salada which is kind of like Build your own salad place. I was going to say like a Subway, but it ain't on the level of Subway. It's it's nicer than Subway. But, um, so there, that's where I'm going. It's Salada. Give me a big old juicy salad. And then, I don't know what, I think I might be eating like salmon for dinner. I'm not sure. I'm making spaghetti for the kids. I'm not going to eat that, of course, because I'm not trying to do no carbs. Not no carbs, but I'm doing low carbs. So, and spaghetti... That ain't what's happening. When I make my spaghetti, it's the carbs, it's the cheese. I put sugar in my spaghetti, so sodium. Like, nah, 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 I can't have that. So, 
I will probably make a piece of salmon. Um, Target be having such good deals on salmon that I'd be stocking up and just like putting it in my freezer. So, but anyway, that's all for my, um, what I got to do today. I did not sleep good last night. I had an appointment this morning that I missed for my toe. Um, it was a follow-up appointment for my toe, but I didn't make it. I had went back to sleep, um, and I slept till like 1130 and that's what time my appointment was. So I just rescheduled it. Um, yeah, I set me an appointment for a facial for Wednesday. I said I need to start taking better care of my skin even though like I have I guess what's considered good skin I know y'all were with me through my um, my stage of having those breakouts on my chin for like nine months it was crazy I don't know what that shit came from but anyway thank God it's gone I do have a couple little dark spots like left from it but um yeah those crazy cluster pimples I don't get that no more but it was like intense for like nine months and it may have been the stress of me leaving my relationship I don't know my sister said that down here is like hormone based I don't know so um I'm just glad that it's gone but yeah that's all I gotta do today I probably will be picking y'all up periodically it's gonna be boring so if I put if I put y'all down and this vlog starts back up again tomorrow, don't hate me. Just because I ain't doing shit. Like I I'm literally not doing anything. It's a new day. I'm looking like yesterday, but it's a new day. I definitely brush my teeth and I definitely wash my face. I'm just wearing the same shirt, the same nappy ass wig, and the same hat, but don't judge. It's all good. I've literally been home all day. I've not left the house today. I left the house to drop the kids off at school and I'm leaving again to go pick them up. That's that's where I'm going right now. So and y'all I've had so much freedom not having nails on. This feels so good. Scam likely. Leave me alone. Y'all, this feels so good not having press on nails. Like, not having nothing on my hands. Like, this is freedom. Like, I have been on dates with nothing on my nails. Like, they're just like, they just look like just regular, like, manicured nails. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I guess I'm to the age now where it's just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm comfortable. Like, this is, make, well, this is what makes me comfortable. So this is what you're getting. You're getting the real authentic Gina. Now, I ain't saying I'm never gonna put nails on again. I definitely am. I'm, if I go out, I, I might be going to Atlanta this weekend. So if I go to Atlanta this weekend, I will definitely have my fake nails on. Um, this weekend is Mr. Ruggs weekend. He's like a big promoter in Atlanta. So it's his like weekend and I guess he has a weekend every year and then I have a homeboy who's doing a fashion show out there also and he asked me can I come support so I'm like you buy my ticket even though I was already coming but are you gonna buy my ticket like I need to know <laughs> still like things just go a certain way like but um so yeah, I'm just going to pick the kids up. I've literally just been, I had to, I, I did like some manual labor today. I did some, I had to, what's it called? Seal my back door. I had to put some caulk down. I had to seal the bottom of the door. Like I did some like husband type shit. Like I need a, I need a damn husband. Shit, I'm not dating anybody right now. I'm not fucking nobody right now. So I don't have nobody that I can just like call come to my house in my home that I can ask to like do some work for me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't bring men in my house. Like, I just don't. The only man that's ever been in my house is Trill. And that is it. My baby daddies, neither one of them have been to my house. Like, that's how deep it gets. I protect my kids. I protect my energy, my peace. Men are not coming in my home. But that's a whole other story. Whatever, if you don't agree, if you choose, you want men coming in your house because y'all are dating, because uh, y'all, whatever, 
I don't bring men in my house. Like, like I said, Trill was the only one. That's it. <laughs> and it's been months since he's been to my house. But, um, yeah, it looks gloomy outside. Is it gonna rain? Look at Ethan texting me. Mom, when are you coming? Little boy, I am on my way. What's this weather talking about? Oh, shoot, it's supposed to start raining tonight. I was supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, but the way Houston weather is, bipolar, Apple weather says one thing, and then Houston weather tries to do something totally opposite. It's gonna say it's a 40% chance of rain. Watch it fucking snow and sleet and shit. You know, so, Houston is crazy. Other than that, y'all, nothing new is going on in my life. Last vlog, I told y'all about my little been on dates and stuff. Nothing has transpired from those. Just, you know, I'm just having fun, casually dating. Um, yeah. Been putting my um, little toys in my drawer to good use because can't nobody get this kitty cat. Can't nobody get it. Shit. I told my home girl, I was like, I haven't had sex in months. To me, that's a long time. I'm like, I haven't had sex since the beginning of it. Like the beginning, like the first week of February. And she was like, girl, you haven't had sex in months. I haven't had sex in years. I don't want to hear your complaints. It's crazy how us women, like, we can just go like a long time without getting any. Like men. I don't care how lame or how wacky y'all think a nigga is, he hitting somebody draws. He 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 hitting somebody draws within a six month period. A man not gonna go years without having sex. But us women, my homegirl, she was like, girl, it's been years. And she, when she told me the date, she was like, it was something in 2018. I'm like, girl, you ain't had no little pop up booty call, no running with one of your old booze, nothing. She was like, nope. And she was like, uh uh, and I ain't trying to. I was like, Damn. And she a Scorpio too. You know, we kind of have like high sex drive, so. And yeah, some of y'all had some judgment for me in my, not some, bare, it was a it was a little tiny sprinkle of y'all who had some judgment when I said I went on a date with the um with the 24 year old. I'm like, where, like, I don't understand. Somebody actually put, you know, she put the words 24, oh my God, you're so desperate. Baby girl, like, I'm me and this man, and he's a grown man. Yes, he's way younger than me, but he's a grown-ass man. He lives on his own, drives a luxury car. He's an entrepreneur. He got money. He's, like, he's, he's a grown-ass man, taking care of himself, has really more intelligent conversation than a lot of these men who are twice his age. So, cause I've, I've dated men that are well over his age as well, well over my age. So I just don't understand. Like, we're not talking about a future together. We're not talking about moving in together. We're not talking about having kids. Like it was a date, like, like nothing more, nothing less. Like talking about that's d being desperate. Like, honey, I'm, I am single. I'm just trying to have fun. Like, I'm not looking to be, like, settled down right now. The only person who I even considered, and this was months ago, I considered was Trill. But then that got blown out the window because I'm like, he can't give me the time that I need. So, it's to say I'm desperate for going out on a date, like, I just don't understand. But so many people in the comments were like, girl live your life do what you you ain't gotta explain nothing to nobody there are so many women like oh i'm 40 but my boyfriend is 25 there was one woman she was like i'm 42 my boyfriend is 22 oh my mom just got remarried she's 60 her husband is 12 years younger than her uh you know just so many people that are just like a number and a mental maturity is like it doesn't mean anything age is, is just a number but sometimes there are men who are 25 24 26 30 who still have the mental capacity of a young boy so you know it just for her to say desperate baby <laughs> me desperate and this ain't even on no like um 
bragging type shit no i think i'm better than anybody look better than, baby desperate the furthest thing from it because i can get your favorite celebrity your favorite athletes your favorite everything is in my dms baby please believe that like please <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave that right there so yeah i can i i have my pickings like i i chose to go on a date with that that guy so it ain't out of desperation never think that but anyway i digress um y'all teddy is still mad at me i called him this morning and he said i ain't fucking with you <laughs> he didn't answer the phone he just texted me back and i i really ain't fucking with you <sighs> i don't know why i let him stress me out i, I don't know I might just need to move on. I don't know. I might I just need to move on from that friendship because it's a one-sided friendship. I guess he's being friends with me because in hopes of us one day making something, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. But our friendship, like, our conversations, the fun that we have together, like, we just vibe and we laugh at the same shit. Like, we just vibe so much. But I just don't think of him on that type of level. I just don't think. I cannot picture myself in a relationship with him. I cannot picture myself hugged up, kissing on him. I can't picture myself like, I, I just, I can't picture it. And I'm sorry, y'all, if I keep talking about this. Because y'all know how much that the friendship means to me. I don't even want to use the word meant meant to me like in past tense because I feel like there's still hope in us like you know working through this shit but do I want this stress like I can't like I don't know it, our, our friendship let's say our relationship because a friendship is a relationship our relationship did not used to be stressful like it has gotten stressful recently and it just I don't know it makes me sad every time I think about it just because I'm so used to like talking to him all day long. This nigga literally will call me first thing when he wake up. Be like, what your big head ass doing? And I'd be like, nigga, I'm still in bed. <laughs> like, and he'd be like, shit, well, let's meet up. Let's go to the mall. Let's do what, you know, let's whatever. Like, and now for him to say, I ain't fucking with you all because, all because I was with one of my male friends in the same space as you. Anyway, I'm gonna start stop boring y'all with my relationship stuff, like my friendship stuff. I, I don't know, cause I can just go on and on and on for days, cause I just, I just don't understand it. I need to go to Whole Foods and get some tuna. Whole Foods is right there. I'm just trying to get off this subject of all of this shit. So let me. Ugh. Abby, look on that five below and look. You buy me them? We're at five below. This girl is so. And poppets. There are poppets here. Do those kids care about these type of things? There is so much. I can trade a lot of people. I'm huh? I'm they're, they're five dollars. Yeah, I got. I'm getting two. I'm getting this new one right here, and then I'm getting this one. You buy me this? <laughs> Mine's broke. So oh, right? How much is it? What's that thing? $5? Is it wireless? Yeah, wireless. Where's, does it say wireless on it? Mm -hmm. Bluetooth. Okay, wireless. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then your charger and that's it. I know. Oh, she getting a basket. Like, she just about to get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> they getting baskets. Five below is not five below anymore. It used to be everything five dollars and under. They have stuff here for ten dollars. Crazy. All of the electronics are like six dollars. Y'all, they have the Forever 21 earrings I told y'all about. The thick hoop earrings. They're a tiny bit smaller, but this is them. Oh my god, 325? I think I'm gonna get these just as like backup. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. That is so cute. Focus, motherfucker. Here, I'm putting my I'm putting my earrings in your. Uh, I got two poppets. Oh, these are so cute. 
Wait, I want to show take, I want to show you some of my poppets. So first, I got this poppet. This poppet is like really good. Okay, so this is the bad side, and then this is the good side. Like this is really good. And then this is my other poppet. I really like it. This. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Like, mom, you're the best. I love you so much, y'all. This is the best mom ever. So go subscribe to our channel, hit the notifications, and like this video. <laughs> These two are my favorite. This one, this one, and this one. But if I had to choose one, it'll be this for yeah, real. Y'all ever um, do, into doing press on nails? Save your coin, and you don't have to get your nails done at the nail salon all the time. They have these three twenty-five. How much come in here? Twenty-four pieces. Close. I've been having a hard time finding some at Dollar Tree. Um, five below has a lot, and these are the sticker ones. Super cute. Look at that. This is the nail glue that I use. I know some people are asking me, but this is the nail glue that I use. It's the brush on pink nail glue, and it works really good. Where are the fly uncles at? The uncles at the barbecue got this on their hip, and they just flip that motherfucker open, get their phone. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Keep going. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's from a video again. Let's see what else. Oh, buy one. These two are my favorite ones. And I already have these two. I already have this one, because I love her. And I already have this one. She's the best. Which one? Oh, Eyelash. When I was a kid, this was our idea of fun. Mad Libs. Oh my God, we had so much fun doing these. What is that? You just fill in the blanks on a story. Oh, an adjective. That's so cool. You make the story like silly and funny. Can I try? I want to see it. Oh, that's so cool. They're long. I think once they got to see. About to make dinner. It's about eight twenty. I'm making such a basic dinner. I'm doing spaghetti. I really wish I had some zoodles, some zucchini noodles, so I can eat some, but I don't. So, yeah. I'm probably just gonna eat one of my um, frozen, like, I call them meal preps. They're not meal preps, but I mean, I guess they would be considered a meal prep because it's a whole meal that's just frozen and it's healthy. Let me show you guys the best, best one. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best, best, but it's like the best one that I've had so far. It's by Lean Cuisine. I don't know why they call it Life Cuisine. I guess it's supposed to be like fancy schmancy. But um, cauliflower pizza bowl. Is this by Lean Cuisine? I've seen Life Cuisine and I just, oh, oh shit. I just assumed it was by the makers of Lean Cuisine. I could be totally wrong. Child. Don't nothing on here say lean cuisine. Maybe life cuisine is its own thing. But anyway, this is bomb. Then this is a brand I haven't tried before, but it looked really good called Sweet Earth um, Tofu General TSO Chicken. I've had this before. Amy's Bowls, you can never go wrong with Amy's. Amy's Bowls are fire. Th this one is fire. I've had this one before. And other Amy's bowls, like their Mexican bowls are so good. So yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably eat one of those, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let me make the kids food. I feel like something, like I'm missing something for getting something. I don't know. Come with words of wisdom. Just words of advice continuously without fail. You know, it's so funny because my sister and I. Y'all, fun facts about me. Do, and this might be getting a little too personal. I love you know, we dumpster diving always, videos. Always you know, we had a love, love, love dump, dumpster diving videos. There's like three dumpster diving channels that I watch on a regular basis. This one right here is called Mom the eBayer. She's a dumpster diver in Chicago my birth city and um she resells her stuff either on um ebay or she donates it so 
I don't know, it's just intriguing. Just a little fun fact about me. There's another one called Daily Divers who I watch. And then the third one, I can't remember the name off the off the top of my head. But anyway, so yeah, just so you know your girl a little bit better. Had to grow as adults. And we kind of separated for a minute. But Dinner is done. You guys saw me put some of the um, meat sauce just in a bowl by itself, just because y'all know I'm trying to like do very low carbs. So I can't eat the spaghetti. I will eat, either eat that by itself with like a green vegetable on the side, or I will literally put that on top of some spinach and eat it just like that. That'll be a meal for me and that'll be satisfying for me, so. But I'm gonna let that cool down for just a second, like literally like five minutes. Um, oh, I wish I had garlic bread. I don't think I have no garlic. I know I don't have garlic bread. No, I don't. Ashton, y'all gotta eat your spaghetti with no garlic bread. I don't have none, baby. You cool with that? Okay. Okay, let me plate their food up for them. It's almost nine o'clock. Y'all know their bedtime is 9.30, so. Let me plate their food up so they can eat. They're already showered. Um, yeah, I need them in bed on time because they both have uh, standardized testing tomorrow. We star test, y'all. Star test, yeah. That's like the Texas some the Texas standardized testing. They test it today, then they test tomorrow, and then they'll be done with that. So I need my babies in bed on time and to be well rested. Oh, we ain't saying all okay i'm about to open some pr packages i didn't eat yet if i eat i'm not hungry if i eat it's gonna be a little bit later on but y'all why um Aaliyah j had me buy some liquid eyeliner knowing good and well i hardly use liquid eyeliner but she said this is her go-to she stocks up on it and she said it's just like the blackest black the maddest matte <laughs> and it's by huda beauty and when I went on Sephora, they were 50% off. So they were $12 each. So I'm like, let me go ahead and buy two. So I did. I don't know why. But that's how she does her winged eyeliner. And y'all know she is like the winged eyeliner queen. So if y'all are looking to get some black, black, black eyeliner, that's Aaliyah J approved. <laughs> okay, so let me open these PR packages real quick. Trying to open y'all stuff on time, y'all. I don't want to just sit and sit and sit. And now, it has been sitting for probably about like two weeks. Maybe three. But it's not months, so I'm doing all right. All right, let's open this first package. It says Lux Lifestyle. Oh, I'm, child, I'm reading this wrong. Lux Style Collection. They got the cute packaging with the swans, pink swans. Hey Gina, hope the month has started off amazing to you. I'm sending you this package from Lux Style Collection at Bijou XX Lux on Instagram. This is our popular candy sheer mesh wrap dress. Hope you love it as much as we do. Have an amazing week. 
So this is her Instagram. Take a screenshot of that. Oh, okay. I'm definitely going to have to try this on for y'all because it's a lot hanging and I'm not sure. Like, I can't even like hold it up to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. So I'm going to put this to the side for a second. I'm going to try that on for y'all in just a minute. Let me go on to the next one. Okay, this one is from Lavish Butters. Okay, this is Lavish Butters. This is the card. You guys can take a screenshot of that. And this is just ways to, oh, 15% off your purchase. So this is a code Lavish15 to get 15% off of your next purchase. Thank you for doing that for the subscribers. Y'all, I already, like, I haven't even, like, opened it, but I smell it. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I can smell it already. Oh, a candle. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is called caramel popcorn, and it literally smells like caramel popcorn. This is so pretty. Look at this. This is so cute for like the girls who have like their aesthetically pleasing, simple, minimalistic homes. Like you just have this cute, simple candle. Oh, this is bomb. This is bomb. It's a hand poured, all natural soy wax candle. And then this is a sample of the vanilla body butter. Just gonna put some on my hand. Oh, it's melting into my hand. Wow. Oh, do y'all see that? I know y'all see that shine. I know y'all see that shine. Baby, can you imagine putting this on the thighage? Putting this on the thighs? Putting it on up here? Ooh. Ooh, that smells so good. Thank you so much. Y'all, so they sell body butters and candles. Please, please, please support them. That is amazing, the way that that smells. All right, so this next one is from Charisma Couture. Can I be done? Ashley, why can't you eat a little bit more? I barely gave you anything. I'm full. Okay, well, why can't you eat a little bit more? You're full? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. All right, let's see what the card says. Hey, Gina, my name is Amory. A I believe I'm saying that right, Amory. And I want to tell you that I absolutely love your channel. I watch your videos so often to the point my boyfriend knows your theme music. And will ask, are you watching Gina? Thank you for being so authentic and unapologetically real. My boyfriend, Joshua, just launched his new clothing line, Charisma Couture, and launch. And you are one of the first people he wanted to send items to. Aww. I made sure to tell him that you're a hat gal and you might enjoy that. Hope you like the item, stick bestie. Use code GINA20 for 20% off at checkout. Oh, code GINA20, guys, so you guys can support a small business, a black business. And yeah, oh, it says support your homies. That's real. Support your homies, y'all. Show support to these celebrities out here. Let, let, let's see some support to our people. So this is his logo, Charisma Couture. That's a C. And then the T is that, I believe that's called a Fleur de Lis. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. And then Brother X. Look at that. Malcolm X. And this is their IG. You guys can take a snapshot of that. So you can check them out. Follow their page. Oh, I love this already. <gasps> Y'all know me so... Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. Y'all know me so well. Look at this. I don't even want to say y'all know me. This is this man's clothing line. But y'all know I love statement shirts. And this is a statement shirt. If y'all don't haven't noticed, I wear a lot of statement sheet t-shirts on here. A lot that'll say melanin, melanin, have pictures of Africa, black girl magic. I have one that's like a Harriet Tubman t-shirt. Like I've worn so many t-shirts on here just, you know, kind of like silently showing you guys who I am. So 
Anyways, look at that. Y'all know that famous picture of him looking out the window, holding the gun, and it says, by any means necessary, and look at the back. An X. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I will be giving you guys a shout out on Instagram as well. Look at these hats. Like, this is good quality. Wow, I don't have a denim baseball cap. I like that. Is the name of the um, clothing brand. And look at this. This one has a leather bill. Wow. Charisma Couture. Wow, wow, wow. American flag with the um, black power fist. And then it says Charisma on the back. This is dope. This is really dope. All right, yeah, y'all know I'm a hat girl, so I'm about to wear this for the rest of the video. Thank you guys so, so, so much, Joshua. I really, really, really am hoping, praying, sending a positive energy out there for you that your business really gets to launch off the ground and like it gets like the um, gets seen like to a lot of people. And I hope it does well. Like all of these businesses, everyone who sends me stuff, I really. Hope you guys are able to like just take off and really get to where you want to be as an entrepreneur. All right, moving on to the last one. This one is from She Cute. She Cute. Okay, this is Oh She Cute Shop, and this is their Instagram. You can guys can take a snapshot of that. And you can get 15% off your purchase with code CUTE15. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Ooh. Sunglasses. Y'all know I'm such a sunglasses girl. Oh, this is cute. They go from pink, oh, I'm talking about pink. They go from purple to pink ombre with a gold frame. Oh, these are live. Y'all know I love glasses that take up my whole face. Like, this is so, this is such a vibe. This is me. Let's see what we got y'all. Let's see. Good, thick material. It's a mini dress. It's brown. It has, looks like, bleaching on it but this is really really cute i'm gonna have to try this one on too look kind of short short <laughs> but thunder thighs gonna get in it okay yeah this is really cute then next okay this looks like a two-piece uh set oh it is here's some leggings and here's the matching flame top to go with it. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna try this stuff on for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it on. I ain't planning on doing no try on today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Another little two piece set. This one has like a crystal tie up in the front, and then. The leggings again. Oh, and they seem to stretch a lot because it's a size medium. I was kind of like, uh, hopefully I can fit this. Thank you so much. Oh, there's more. Oh my gosh. Oh, she got me a bunch of like earrings. Here's some earrings that say Black Lives Matter. Some hoops that say Boss. And then the black power fist, dangly earrings. I absolutely love that. Love, love, love. Okay, let me try on these items for y'all. So it's time for us to go to bed. What's that on Good you? Good night. What is that? It was a part of that. Oh. Good night, my love. Mm -hmm. Cause it's 9 30 and we have a star test tomorrow. Girl, good night. You ain't gotta explain nothing. It's just your bedtime. You have to wake up and go to bed early. Go Bye. <laughs> Love you too. Good night, Ethan. Ethan I said good night, Ethan. 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 
All right, this is from Oh She Cute Cute Shop. I thought this was gonna be like a mini mini dress. No, it's a midi. Y'all know I hate my fat knees, but <sighs> anyway. So this is how the dress looks. Bomb. Fire, fire. This is in a size medium. Look at this, this fits so good. It's super stretchy, so you guys can definitely size down. I'd probably even be able to fit a small, honestly. So that's this one. This is the next one from Oh She Cute Cute. Um, this is a size medium. She sent everything in a medium. The top is a little bit too small. Let me not say a little bit, it's a lot of bit, cause uh, yeah. These are the leggings. The leggings fit really good, like really good. And they're cozy. Um, if you are small chested, definitely um, this will work for you. But I'm big chested. A large may have fit. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this is cute. This is dope. I like this. I really wish the top was just a little bit longer. But other than that, this will be fire for some pictures. Okay, I'm trying on the next outfit from Oshi Q Q. Guys. This is just my two little cents, my little two cents. I don't have a clothing line, but you know that um, items are bought from wholesale and sold and they are labeled by the boutique. It's important to do private labeling because once I take off the boutique's label, Oshi oh, QQ, this is what I see. I'm not going to know that it's from Oshi oh, QQ and that's a chance because I'm not going to remember. Like, I'm literally not going to remember if I wear this and then like six months later I wear it again. I'm not going to be able to tag the company because I'm not going to remember that this is who it's by. This is all I'm going to see. So private labeling, I would say is important, ladies. If you're starting your boutique, try to get your boutique labels inside your clothing items. Okay? Okay. Let me try it on now. But can we all pause for a minute and just take a breath and see how cute this is? Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at this studded tie. It covers everything up. The pants, I wish the pants were a little bit more high rise, but it's okay, it's all right. Everything is, is covered and everything that needs to show is showing. Y'all look at the long sleeves, like this is super cute. Comes all the way down to my ankle. Oh, I love this. Super cute, I got a size medium. So, hopefully that's a size reference for you ladies. Check her out. I already told you guys the discount code. But if you forgot, this is her website and the discount code is Q15. So yeah. So this is the last dress. Wear some nude panties, wear a nude bra, and like, this is a super sexy fit. Oh, and this one is from This is her Instagram, Bijou XX Lux. So yeah, check her out. Child, when we come off, that means the day is officially done. I'ma holla at y'all on the next one. Peace out.